I have, uh, I sorted out my rocks and my stones and such kinds of things. Um, I got these stones uh, mostly um, from either walks with my dad or his uh, collection that um, I now have. And um, so they were getting really dusty, so I've washed them all and recategorized them so that I can use them in some um, projects that I have coming up. And um, I really am, am very uh, happy to see them all again. Um, each one is kind of special. Dad loved Quahog, which is uh, has this purple on the inside, and um, he just loved that. And I have some pieces of that in here. My artistic process, um, what I get out of, of some of this is the textures of, of the items, they inspire me a great deal. Um, and the smooth things, the rough things, um, things that have a lot of texture, that's going, to, um, that's going to inform my art. Some things are very smooth, some things very rough. And I always like to, um, I always like to include some of that in my art, that, that juxtaposition of the smooth and the rough. So, um, in sorting these out as I have, um, I've got smooth things together, I've got really naturally, um, tumbled, like, tumbled by the ocean or a river type of, of thing, um, which has a different feel that from something that's been tumbled in a machine with grit and things like that. I've got some, um, glass and this kind of item um, that I'll use as well. Um, so it might inspire me. I might use the item in the art or I might use the item to inspire my art um, with all of its texture and um, you know uh, art imitating life. So um, that's what these are all set up for me to do.
forth and we've had a great day here um, making all manner of things. I started out in the morning with, for my carved December. I carved a stamp and you can see this is what I this is how I stamped it out um, this morning when I stamped. Um, and then in the afternoon I wanted to make some um, neutral color things because I have a new journal I'm going to work in that, um, well, it's not exactly new. Uh, it's one I have discarded for a while. Um, but it's uh, all neutral. So I wanted to do some browns and things for that. So I, I stamped that up. Um, I, I'm noticing that the stamp doesn't stamp perfectly. It has a kind of grungy look to it, but I like that. Um, I guess you could probably guess that I would like that. So I am quite happy with it. I stamped it out in several different colorways. And, oh, I did have a couple of pages of just different, um, different uh, neutrals. And this one actually... This one's all brown, but this one I went from brown to um, a little bit of green I put in there and white, and all, and then I kept putting um, colors in until it changed. And the last color I put in was like a buttery color, so it was really fun to see the colors, and it's kind of speckled, which makes it a lot of fun for. Well, I like it that way. Um, it reminds me of speckled cookware from long ago, you know, that blue and white speckled. I did print out um, this stamp in a variety of browns, um, neutrals, that I can use in that journal. I'm not going to use this journal exclusively from now because that would be too much even for me, but it is all neutral. You can see that I've prepped the pages. Um, oh, it's upside down too. Okay, it's, I've prepped the pages for this and um, with all kinds of neutral things. And I, here's a page spread that I, it is finished. So, um, yeah. So I enjoyed making those, those papers to use in artwork that will be coming up. I also started prepping a new journal. Um, these are all handmade. I only hand make all my journals. And this one is um, sewed together by the Coptic Stitch. And I started prepping the pages. And what that means is they're made out of magazines. And I used the extra paint that I had left over when I was printing to um, co put color on the page, right? So that I was able to do out of that too. And finally, I believe, well, it wasn't actually finally, it was somewhere in the middle. I sorted out um, my collection of rocks and shells and glass pieces, um, just because uh, it's really great to have them cleaned and sorted so that I can start using them in art. Um, I have a large collection of said items um, that I inherited from um, my dad and um, so I'll be using those in future projects. But it was really nice to see them all sorted today. We've had a good day. I hope you did too and we will see you very soon. That would be tomorrow, December 5th. So hope you're having a good night and talk to you tomorrow.